Today we have two types of less lethal shotgun rounds. Often people will call these less than lethal, but if you misuse these, they can still be lethal. The first type is the Super Sock Beanbag Round. The second is the Stability Shock Rubber Bullet, sometimes called the Baton. And I should note that both of these are for law enforcement only. Now this is the beanbag. It's pretty big and it's surprising they can stuff all that into a 12 gauge shell. It weighs in at 40 grams, but the velocity is only 280 feet per second. Now it's made up of a double layer Kevlar sock and inside is I think number 9 or number 10 lead shot. There's no other buffers or anything like that inside there. The stability shock is made out of solid TPV rubber. It's quite a bit lighter than the bead mag round, but it's shot at a higher velocity. The effective range of the beanbag is only 5 to 20 yards. It's not meant for long range engagement. I wanted to show you the difference between a big slow moving object impacting something and a small higher velocity object impacting the same thing. So that's our baseline. Okay, this is where I screwed up. These are meant to be shot at 426 feet per second max to be less lethal, but these things are actually going about 1200 feet per second. Now the good news is that it flew very well at that high velocity, but something weighing only 6 grams, made out of soft rubber, traveling at 1200 feet per second, hey, it can still kill you. When an officer is trained to use these less lethal rounds, they are not supposed to shoot the head, the sternum, the neck, uh, the spine. Typically, the aim point is the belly button. That's what they aim for. If you get shot with these in the stomach, you're going to be buckling over and crying, but you're not going to be dead. Now let's take some more shots with the stability shocks at some different objects. The stability shocks are actually kind of fun to shoot. There's virtually no recoil. And I think there's a lot of uh, like training applications that you use these for. Now, Ballistic Products, who was so kind to send us these to test out, also sells a civilianized version made out of a softer rubber. You definitely don't want to be shooting your friends with these, but you could probably get away with shooting in your basement if you use a really light load, and you could recover the slugs and use them over and over again. I think that'd be fun. Matt's wife, Natasha, never shot a shotgun before, so let's see how she does with the beanbag round. At about 10 yards away, she had no problem getting on target and hitting exactly what she was aiming for. We wanted to show you a few different types of targets just to give you an idea what kind of impact these beanbags have. <laughs> I took a pair of jeans, cut off the leg and filled it full of sand. I thought this might be a good representation of a, like your thigh. And you'll notice that the beanbag round actually tore a small hole in the jeans. The impact from the stability shock wasn't a whole lot different than the beanbag, except for a bigger hole in the jeans. Another big difference is the rubber slugs will bounce off quite a distance away, while the beanbags usually just fall a couple feet in front of the object that you hit. In an earlier test, we did shoot a high velocity stability shock at some ballistic gel. The round did bounce off, but it did leave a superficial wound to the ballistic gel. These are some of the recovered projectiles that we shot. Uh, you can see that this one is still in pretty decent shape. You could probably reshoot that one. This one's a little mangled up. I think that's the one that slammed into the piece of wood. Most of the beanbag rounds look just like that after we shot them. 
Even though it wasn't real obvious, the little tails did manage to keep the beanbags flying straight through the air. Every once in a while we actually see the tail kind of shred into four pieces like that. Not sure why it does that and why it doesn't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had fun making it. Thanks for watching.